Hello everyone, welcome to the Electron Flow Academy. So today we are going to discuss about numerical problem number two based on the transformers EMF equation. Okay, so question is given to us as follows. The maximum flux density in the core of A 250 by 3000 volts. That means the primary induced voltage is even and secondary induced EMF if is 3000 okay even in e2 volts 50 hertz single phase transformer is 1.2 weber per meter square okay this is the value of the flux density in the core so question is that if the emf per turn is 8 volt then determine the primary and secondary turns so that we need to find out the n1 and n2 and area of the core okay so let's solve the question. So given is that E1 is equal to, like I said, E1 is equal to here, 250 volts. Okay. E2 is equal to, 3000 volts and we know that E1 is equal to N1 multiplied by EMF per tons. Okay. So Let's put the values here. So, N1 is equal to 250, which is E1, divided by 8. Okay, EMF per turn given us is 8 volt. So, this is how I calculated the value for the primary number of turns. So, I get 31.25. Okay, now turns cannot be in fraction so we know that this is the fraction value so turns cannot be in fractions so basically turn cannot be in fraction so we put n1 equal to 32 okay so also we know that here n2 divided by n1 is equal to e2 divided by e1 okay so from here i can easily calculate the value of n1 sorry n2 okay so let's calculate the value of n2 now N2 is equal to 3000 which is E2 divided by 250 which is E1 into N1 which is 32. So this is how I calculated the value of N2. So N2 is equal to 384 turns. Okay. This is my another answer. Okay, so I have calculated the primary and secondary number of runs. Now, next thing is that the area of the core. Okay, so from the EMF equation relation, I get E is equal to, or directly I can say that EMF equation is equal to E2 equal to 4.44 pi sorry frequency f into flux density bm into area into n2 okay so from this expression e is equal to e2 which is 3000 divided by 4.44 into 50 into Flux density is given us is 1.2, okay, into 1.2. 
into n2 which is 384 okay so the area of the core is equal to now 0 0.02933 meter square okay this is our last answer okay so this is how we have calculated the parameter asked in the question so thank you for watching please like and subscribe our channel